Hello viewers, welcome to the section Classifying Data with Tableau. In this section we will learn about Understanding the Data and Modeling in R. Now we move on to the video Understanding the Data. In this video we will use Tableau to look at data preparation and data quality. We have imported the adult data into Tableau. We can filter for records where no income is specified. For that, drag and drop the income dimension into the filters box. Once we do that, we can exclude the record that has a null. Since there is no null values, we just select the ones with values. Click on apply and then click OK. The income filters appear in the filters box. Let's explore the binomial label in more detail. How many records belong to each label? Let's visualize the finding. For that, drag and drop the income dimension into the rows tab. Next, we will drag and drop the number of records into the columns tab. In order to see a proper visualization of the findings with numbers, we will drag and drop few measures into the marks box. First, drag and drop the number of records inside the color box. Then drag and drop the number of records inside the size box. As you can see here, the sizes of both the income values has been changed according to the percentage. Next, drag and drop the number of records inside the label box. Let's have a browse of the data in Tableau in order to see what the data looks like. From the grid, it's easy to see that there are 14 attributes in total. We can see the characteristics of the data. So the seven polynomials are work class, education, marital status, occupation, relationship, race, sex, native country. Then one binomial, that is sex. Age, final sampling weight, education number, capital gain, capital loss, hours per week are the six continuous attributes. So you can see the numbers on the right hand side of the screen. In order to take a look at the percentage, go to analysis and select percentage of column, which will specify the percentage. Here you can quickly see that 76% of the records in the dataset have a class label of greater than 50k and 23.62% of the records in the dataset have a class label of less than 50k. On the right hand side of the screen you can see the percentage box. Let's clear the sheet. Now we will look at the countries and the number of records for each country. For that, drag and drop the native country dimension into the rows tab. Next, drag and drop the number of records into the text box present under the marks. This gives us the number of records for each of the countries, which you can see here. Next, we will take a look at the percentage of records. For that, go to analysis, choose percentage of column. Here you can see that the number of records have been changed to the percent values. From this chart, we can see that nearly 2% of the records are missing for one country and the vast majority of individuals are from the United States. This means that we could consider the native country feature as a candidate for removal from the model creation, because the lack of variation means that it isn't going to add anything interesting to the analysis. Further, we will visualize the race feature. Let's clear this screen. Now drag and drop the race dimension into the rows tab. As you can see, the races have appeared on the sheet. Next, drag and drop the number of records measure into the columns tab. You get the graph with the number of records for each race. To have a differentiation, let's put the records in colors. Drag and drop the race dimension into the colors box. Since in this graph you can only see the number of records, and we want to have a look at the percentage of records, go to analysis, choose percentage of column. So the number of records is displayed in percentage. The white value appears for 85% of overall cases. This means that it isn't likely to add much value to the predictor. Now we can look at the number of years that people spend in education. First, drag and drop the education number dimension into the columns tab. Then drag and drop the number of records into the rows tab. Drag and drop the race dimension into the filters box. Currently we will check all of them and then click apply and OK. After that, Drag and drop the race dimension into the colors box, which display the race dimensions with different colors on the right hand side of the screen. Select line from the marks box and you can see the graph. In the filters box, edit the current race filter, uncheck some of the data from it and click on apply and OK. 
Once we have filtered, the two of races black and white can be seen in this graph. Now we can look at the number of years that people spend in education. Let's drag and drop the income dimension into the rows tab. When the education number attribute was plotted, then it can be seen that the lower values tend to predominate in the less than 50k class, and the higher levels of time spent in education are greater than 50k class. We can see the findings in this figure. This finding may indicate some predictive capability in the education feature. In this video, we have prepared the data by using a visual data preparation.